Alright, alright. I gotta go. Hi, it's Thursday. Watching Thursday, Thursday. The show is Thursday, and we get f we drink very responsibly. <laughs> it's cold outside right now because it's December, and that's what December does. Brr, oh. Unlike Elsa from Frozen, the cold always bothered me all the time. I hate the cold. California native, right here. Complete 100% pussy when it comes to cold. So because it's very cold to me outside, it's about 50 degrees, I would like more than anything else a liquid blanket that will warm me from the inside and possibly give me a buzz. Can that happen with a spiked hot chocolate? I don't know, but it sounds like it could and it sounds very delicious. We are going to attempt to pull off today a peppermint hot chocolate with tequila in it. What? You know, we'll see if it works. No guarantees. I should probably test my recipes before I film them, but... I know, I'm just gonna do it. And if it works, then we get drunk. And if not, then we get sad and we still get drunk off something. Let's make this drink. To make this drink, you will need some sort of milk. I have cashew milk left over from when we made eggnog. Eggnog. It is thicker than my almond milk, so I'm just gonna try it with that. Granulated sugar, unsweetened cocoa powder, semi-sweet chocolate chips, kosher salt, tequila. I have silver. I don't know if it works with the other kind. It might. And peppermint schnapps, which is 90 proof. I did not know that. If you don't want 90 proof, maybe try peppermint extract. I don't know. I feel like 90 proof will definitely warm you up though. Also, I'm gonna top it with these marshmallows. These are actually dandies, which are uh, marshmallows that aren't made with gelatin. And a peppermint candy cane, cause duh. That's the theme. Okay, here we go. Take a saucepan. I'm doing a teeny baby one. This is new. You're cute. Welcome to the family. We're gonna take a tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder, a tablespoon of sugar, a pinch of kosher salt. We're gonna stir that up a little bit. Oh, I guess you shouldn't do metal on metal. People always get mad at me for doing that. Listen, it's my health. Mm, toxins. Then we're gonna add a cup of cashew milk, bless you. And you know what, I'm gonna do a quarter cup of these chocolate chips, cause fuck you, I own this kitchen. Sorry, that was aggressive. I'm gonna heat this up. Aha, a non-metal spoon. I would have used this if I knew about it earlier. I would have. Please like me. Please be good, please be good. This is my scientific method for making something taste good. You're the one watching a woman make hot chocolate in her kitchen. Ooh, you know what's probably even better than a wooden spoon? A whisk with that so new has a tag on it. Cool. It's way better. I would know because I've used this tons of times. Maybe it's not better. I give up. When the going gets tough, give up. That's my motto. This is why I love you guys in the comments. I didn't even know that non-metal whisks existed. Eggs whisked <laughs> Until you guys left it in the comments. So thank you for that. I found one. It's rubber, I think. I don't know. It's not metal. But it's super metal. All right, it's like, are you hot yet? Oh yeah, you did something like this. This kind of action. Yeah. If you do this, it feels like you're doing something. Like you made it great. I do the same thing in sex, just like. Yep. So now you have a visual. Okay, we don't want this to burn, so I'm gonna turn it off. Once it starts getting pretty warm, it's almost boiling, we're gonna turn it off, turn it off, get off. I'm gonna try something before I add booze to it. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. Holy shit. If you do not drink booze and you just want a nice cup of hot cocoa, holy shit, drink this. I am endorsing this officially. Wow, I act like a girl that's never had hot chocolate before. I've only had it from the packets. I've never made it like this. God, this is fancy. I understand now. So what are we doing? Okay, so you don't want your hot chocolate to be like boiling hot before you add booze because it'll burn off all the alcohol and that doesn't give you a buzz. So um, let it cool like until it's, you know, not bubbling. And we're gonna add um, an ounce and a half of tequila and 0.5 ounces of peppermint schnapps. No, you schnapp. Now we're gonna whisk that into there. Hopefully it stays chocolatey and delicious and pepperminty. Ah, I'm so excited about this. Okay, call it excitement. Lower your expectations. Lowered expectations produce surprisingly good results because you, if you think everything's gonna be bad, then when it turns out mediocre, you're like, you think it's good. That's my other life motto. It's longer, so I don't say it very often. I'm gonna pour it into a cup and put marshmallows on it. Hold on. Bum, 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 bum. How cute is that? Can you see it very well? Is the lighting like reflecting the marshmallows too hard? Are you too beautiful? It's like me in the mirror every day. Just kidding, I hate myself. Just kidding, love your body. Steve needs to taste this, but also I wanna taste this. 
It's so good. It tastes like peppermint chocolate. It tastes like a winter wonderland. It tastes like Christmas day. There's lots of presents for only you. And also you gave a lot of presents so everyone thinks you're really nice. That's what that would taste like. Oh my gosh, that's good. I feel like the alcohol only enhances the chocolate flavor. Wow, 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 wow. Guys. I needed this. Man, Steve better hurry up. There's gonna be none of this left. Then what? Only one of us is drunk and asleep. Naked. That's no fun. What is this, this is a spiked peppermint hot chocolate that I made from scratch. Yo. <laughs> Make a lot of it? That is so damn good. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I kind of I kind of just like combined a couple recipes that I thought might sound good and then it was, yeah. Smokes, man. Slam that is dunk. Excellent. So good. What There's the fuck is in there? Some more over here. That's got tequilas? Uh, it has tequila and it has peppermint schnapps mm. and semi-sweet chocolate cocoa powder and uh -huh. cash cashew milk. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. Okay, mm. okay. That's that's the Denzel approval. Oh, I thought it was uh, Matthew McConaughey. I feel like they could interchange those two. Now, why would I say that? Okay, all right, okay, that's my Denzel. man, okay, that's, all right. That's now do Matthew McConaughey. Well, all right. Okay, okay. Now that's, now that's what I call a drink. <laughs> Uh, it sounds cool, sort of like George W. Bush too. Yeah, know, yeah, it in does. In a weird way, right? Like, you know what? I, I, but but Matthew like, McConaughey is saying "all right, all right, all right." Yeah, yeah sounds yeah. similar. Yeah, no, no, they both do the same thing. And yeah. They're both huge movie stars. And it's like if you so, want to be big, man, you got to be like, you got to find your own way to say "all right" a couple yeah, times. Yeah, a couple times. All right, all right, okay, okay, okay. I think okay. My, I think mine would be like. All right, all right, oh all right. I'm turning this video off. That's <laughs> not a good all right. You gotta what? really amp up the, no, they gotta have that peppy energy, you know what I'm talking about? Where it's like, it's like, okay, all right, okay, all right. Like, and Denzel does some clapping too. He's always like, all right, all right, okay, all right, all right. And then, and then McConaissance is always like, he's always like, all right, all right, all right. Oh, uh, true. So like, all right, all right. I gotta go. All right. I gotta, I gotta go. This is so embarrassing. All right, so you like the drink. It's a good drink. Exactly. Make the drink. All right. I think all, it's all right. I think, I think it's all right. You think it's <laughs> all right. Yeah, for I think it's actually a really good drink. Yeah, it is. It's really good. It is very good. Make it. You're welcome. Also, Ooh. we're going to bed in a nice looking blanket. <laughs> yeah, that's we're right. We're going to bed. All right. I'm it's a, nine o'clock. I'm really we're going good to at bed. prep talking. Yeah. All right. We're going to bed. You're the next reason why a woman isn't going to be an NFL head coach for <laughs> another 30 years. <laughs> All right, fellas. Let's go to bed. <laughs> Let's just go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> Get out there. Go to Get bed. Get out there. Go. Go, go to sleep. Go put them to sleep. I love sleeping. Greatly, Mom. Alright, subscribe so you don't miss any of this. I'll see you next time. Can they subscribe to me too? No. There's a place I have found in the shade on the ground. Far from our worries. Is this the garden by the bay?